YouTube. This is a review of the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Compact Makeup with SPF 17 and um, N1, which is the lightest neutral shade. This is a cream to powder foundation. And I think this will be one of the first four that I will be hopefully reviewing in the next couple of weeks. Now, um, this is my first, um, these four of my first experience with cream to powder. I never used um, this type of foundation before. And overall, I found that this one was by far the easiest and the nicest to work with. It was very easy to apply. I really liked the texture. It blended beautifully. And it really, the finish of it really, really impressed me. Um, it's a matte, it's a matte finish, but it's very natural looking. It doesn't look mask-like at all. There's a sort of, um, there's a sort of a bit of, very, very tiny, very subtle sheen to it, sort of, that gives the finish a lot of depth and makes it look very natural, um, a lot like your own skin, doesn't look mask-like at all. Um, the coverage that this foundation provides is uh, light to light medium, and it comes with the mirror and the sponge, the applicator, and unlike a lot of the... Um, a lot of the other applicators that usually the compacts usually come with, this is actually a pretty good way of um, of applying it. I think you get really, really good coverage with uh, really good coverage and really good finish by using this one. However, my favorite way to apply it was using Kabuki brush. Specifically, I use the Mac 181 SE Mini Buki, but any kind of Kabuki brush, you know, will do. It's just it's it really. It really just um, makes the application kind of a pleasure. Like sort of, I you know swipe it in the makeup and then buff it in and then just you know sort of spread it around and it, it looks really beautiful. Um, one of the things that impressed me the most about this product is the absolutely unbelievable shade selection. I have never seen a shade selection this extensive in a drugstore foundation before, um, and the way it's set up is sort of like the MAC classification, you have uh, different tints, the cool, the warm, the neutral, and then like gradi gradations, like the one through whatever, the one being the lightest and you know, so on. So um, all the shades are quite, quite beautiful. I have a hard time imagining a shade that wouldn't, wouldn't find something, wouldn't find a color that would work with their skin it just there's a really wide selection there's a lot there's a the selection for the very light skin is pretty good and selection for the dark skin pretty good as well so i was very very impressed i think l'oreal did a really really nice job with with their shade um with their shade palette with this foundation i was quite happy um this also i believe this is the second iteration second version 2.0 of this type of foundation. The last one did not come with SPF, this one does. Comes with um, titanium dioxide, which is a physical um, physical sunscreen. So it's gonna be nice to your, you know, sort of skin, uh, sensitive skin friendly. Um, overall, this feels really nice, really light, really natural on the skin and to the touch. It won't feel powdery, you know, it just won't feel strange. Feels like basically feels like like your skin, and uh, I really really like that. However, this does have a few significant flaws. First of all, this is dry. This sets drier than um, a lot of other cream to powders, like significantly drier. Which means this is right out for dry skin. It will accentuate um, dry patches, fine lines, pores. Um, large lines, any kind of aging skin imperfection. Um, while this covers up and um, corrects um, color discoloration to the skin, discoloration to the skin really well, um, any kind of sort of structural issues will just look worse. So um, it's kind of limited in its usability is sort of limited to only a certain type of skin defect. Um, also, I wasn't crazy about the staying power, even after being set with um, powder. 
I tried several. Um, especially if you're like in hot weather, if you're sweating, I would go out. I tend to sweat a lot, especially here and at the hairline. And I would go out and I just break out into sweat. I'd wipe, you know, I'd wipe my hand across my face and I would have the foundation on the back of my hand. It would come off really quickly here and here in particular. Um, and so that's sort of like a, a fair weather choice. You can't really, this isn't going to work in hot or humid climates or in hot humid weather. Um, I think this is definitely a better foundation for fall, spring, fall and winter. It'll work much better then. I mean, it takes a kind of a special foundation to to, <laughs> to really stick in the summer. So um, sort of a split decision, I think. If you have um, a particular type of skin, a particular type of flaw you're trying to disguise, I think this is a really good choice if you have um, color correction issues like redness or like blackheads you want to hide. I have um, a blackhead problem on my chin and that just covered it beautifully. But if you have stuff like um, lines around your mouth or in your eyes, I have like smile lines that are an issue. Um, or if you tend to sweat a lot, which I tend to do, uh, this is going to be sort of a um, a marginal choice at best. I would probably try to look for, for something different. So um, that's it <laughs> for the review. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or requests about this product or um, any other, uh, please leave a comment below. <laughs> Thank you, Zebra, for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.